Good evening. My name is Dr. Vijay Rao. I am a rheumatologist working currently in Manipal Hospital, Bangalore. In more than 90% of people, ankylosing spondylitis affects axial skeleton, which is the spine from cervical to sacral spine and sacroiliac joint. It also affects hip joints, it affects knee joints and predominantly lower limb joints such as ankles. Small joint involvement such as hands and feet involvement is less common. In 30% to 40% of people, it can affect an, a structure in the eye called uvea causing inflammation which predominantly manifests as red hot and swollen eye uh, in an emergency fashion. We also have association of uh, ankylosing spondylitis affecting the bowel causing inflammatory bowel disease. So what happens in this condition? Inflammation is the first step where you will have redness, pain, heat, stiffness and swelling in the joints. If it only involves the spine and the hips, you can't see any swelling but you experience a lot of back pain and stiffness especially in the mornings in your back, lower back, hips or even buttocks. This is the first step. In the, when you, once you cross the two years, it gradually progresses towards what we call as ankylosis, which is nothing but fibrosis of the inflamed structure, that is of the enthesis where the tendons attach to the bones of all the ligaments of the spine and gradually leading to what we call as a bamboo spine, that is inability of the subject or the patient to bend down or bend back. It also causes uh, destruction of the hip joints needing hip replacements at a very early stage in life. Recurrent attacks of the red eye can gradually lead to blindness and loss of vision and uh, skin manifestations such as psoriasis and bowel disease can have their own sequela of skin scarring and bowel disease leading to weight loss, malabsorption, anemia uh, so on and so forth. So eventually it's a chronic progressing disabling disease where the patient will be quite disabled without treatment in a matter of 5 to 10 years, needing a hip replacement or a knee replacement at a quite early young stage in life.